Hello TarotTube! It's me, Clementia, also known as Linda or Linda. And my last name, don't forget, sounds like Rocky, as in Taraki. All right, today I have my beautiful daughter here and it's Christmas Day and we just did Lisa Frank nails to really get our I tie New Jersey on here. Okay. okay, hands out. So, full illustration. Here's the lasagna I made for last night because, I mean, come on, people. It's a holiday. I'm Italian-American. There's going to be lasagna. For me to make a little um, thumbnail for this was just not hard. All I had to do was just go into my kitchen, and I got all the things. So, here we go. And now we've got some wine. And look, good interruptions. Because... My beautiful daughter, Delaney, she gluten-free. Now, when we were in Rome in the spring, um, gluten-free was not a problem. I got to tell you, you go to Italy, you say gluten-free, nobody bats an eyelash. They have got you. You're mm -hmm. good to go. I felt seen. She was totally seen. So, I brought her in to help me do this one so we could do a ramble. Now, if you watch my other stuff, you know I'm pretty much like, I never edit. I just hit the play button, and then we go, and then when we stop, we stop. We might have to edit this one, because I got Delaney on board. She's got a great podcast. I'll pitch that again later. And, I don't know, some stuff might get edited. Yeah. But here we're getting started, so right. Chantani, everyone. Cheers. And for my Love is Blind fans out there, I know that... Now I'm going to have to stop and explain this to you, too. But okay. it's a little bit uncouth to have the chilled wine in a glass where you have to put your hand on the chilled part. In the show Love is Blind, there's a very serious confrontation over that. Well, we're holding in a relationship. ours on the other part. Yeah, we're doing the very best we can. But I just want to say, we know. Okay. Life happens. Yes. Okay, that's it. Besides, we're Italian-American and we drink our wine on whatever we have at hand. Yeah, oh, and this is my favorite orange wine. It's Gulp Ablo. I adore it. Okay. They sell it in a liter. <laughs> See, Delaney's really going to bring in the, the local color. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the pasta tarot. Truth be told, this came across my Instagram feed. I had purchased it in under five minutes. I mean, transaction completed in under five minutes from the moment my eyes clapped onto just the box, people. I didn't even see the card. I was like, this is going to happen. All right. So when I got it and I opened the box, I was like, this feels familiar. So for those of you who are thinking about it and really care about hand feel, if you've got Tarot of the Divine, I was like, this sounds, this feels really familiar. There's a reason. Clarks and Potter. So I'm very happy with this card stock. This has actually been one of my favorite cardstocks to handle. It's got a nice linen mat. And look at the backs. Look. Look at the backs. Delaney, look Ooh, at the backs. Ooh, the backs. The backs. I mean, spaghetti and meatballs? Classic. Tablecloth? Classic. Speaking of which, you notice my tablecloth? This is a dish towel. The dish towel figures very heavily in my Italian-American growing up where we made fresh pasta with my dad, known to Delaney as Nanu. Mm -hmm. And I just have these images of the dish towels that we would put it over the fresh pasta when we put it into the refrigerator. It was so. I like that. Here's the dish towel. All right, so now we're gonna do a little walkthrough. Um, now let's just talk about the suits for a second. So the suits in here, what are they? So Corta is, um, Wands, um, which our creators are calling matters of the spirit. Um, then uh, Ripiana is matters of the heart. So that's our, oh wait, I said that was wands. Yeah. So this is cups, Ripiana. Alunga is matters of the mind. And Minuta is matters of the body. So we've got, we've got the four conventional suits. This is very RWS. Um, Influenced, you'll see a lot of the imagery you expect to see in an RWS deck. Do you mind saying what RWS is? Oh, sorry. 
R W S. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. That is the Rider Weight Smith, which is the traditional tarot that most people are used to seeing. They expect to see. Um, Rider was the publisher. Weight was the creator, sort of, and Paula Pam. Pamela Coleman Smith was the artist, and it's debatable in terms of creativity whether Waite or Smith put more into it. It used to be called the Rider Waite deck, okay. and now it's called Rider Waite Smith because the girls of the world said, Excuse me. Okay, thank you. All right, that was probably just for me. If you've made it this far, you know more than little old me, but I appreciate it. Oh, you never know. I mean, I'm gonna put the hashtag pasta, so who knows who's gonna watch this thing? Right. <laughs> If they last right. this long. <laughs> Although maybe the live shot of the lasagna from last night will help. Yeah. Having some wine. Mm. And again, Chantani. All right, so we're going to walk through this together. And I thought it'd be fun to do it with Delaney because when I looked at it, when I first got it, which was like, I don't know, four days ago, I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, these are people. So I know some of these people, but I think she's going to know more of them. So we've got an intergenerational walkthrough. And true enough, we did uh, Yule readings for each other, and she totally nailed it, by the way. And I was like, who's this? And she was like, oh, that's this person, that's the first person. So anyway, between the two of us, we were able to name a few people. And, you know, if the creators watch this, Rob and Jeff, it's a Mia Mario. If you guys watch it, and there's some people you want to help us with, you just chime right in. That would be mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our fool who is happily carrying flower. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, um, Delaney, uh, how do, what do you think about the colors on this one? Well, getting past the slight microaggression of it being flower for a gluten-free gal like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like that all of the backgrounds are like, very monochromatic, but still have depth to them. If we're talking about color scheme. Yeah. It's feeling calm. It's feeling cozy. It's feeling settled. All right. These are my favorite ones. I like the ones that have the straight yellow background. They're really happy and energetic. Yeah, and we've got a lot of these, which is a, you know, a joyful thing. Overall, I think we agree that this is a very upbeat deck. Yeah, definitely optimistic, family-oriented, not just nuclear family, but chosen family. Yeah, it, it really is a very inclusive deck, and I would not hesitate to pull this for almost anybody I know. Yeah. Yeah. Love that the magician is a Nona. Love that she's not wearing a bra. That makes me happy. You noticed that before I did, but I Well, you know, we all see what's important to us. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got her nice pentacle here, so... High Priestess. Let me center this up a little bit better. So I think it's interesting that the High Priestess is blue. So she kind of gives off some Kali vibes to mm. me. But you like the... Salt and pepper shakers. Yes. I also don't feel like this is a sad blue. No. It's a I... calm blue, but right. not a sad blue. Mm -hmm. Also, when we were looking at this together the other day... I said by like the fourth or fifth picture, wow, if any of these were blown up as prints, I would buy them and put them on my wall. It's like every single picture is so pleasant and self-contained that I would love to decorate with it. So now that on that note, this is a good time to talk to you about our creators. So the deck was created by three people. Here are their names. And we've followed all of them now on Instagram because... We just love the whole whole dang thing. We're throwing follows left, right, and center. That's us. Feeling generous. Holiday spirit. Ho, ho. Here's the Empress. We love the star pasta up yeah. here. That makes us both very happy. Yeah. It's funny. Going through this deck, there's so many kinds of pasta I forgot exist, and it gives me like a visceral feeling of having it in a dish. I feel like I've had some good soups that have this shape of pasta yep. in them yeah so when she was that. little we used to like to throw those into a chicken broth yep. she's very hollywood glam yes yeah this is one of those ones where i think this might be somebody i don't know we both agree that this guy is giving off al pacino vibes yeah i don't know if it is him but it definitely has that feeling to it i just noticed he's holding a cannoli i managed to miss that last wait time. what Right there. Holy cow. So wait, what's that a reference to? There's a reference. Keep the cannoli uh, 
something something do with something with the cannoli. It's a movie reference. Oh, cool. All right, somebody pop it in the comments. Oh, I got. <laughs> Help us out. Help us out That's with that it. cannoli quote. <laughs> Wait, we've got iPhone. We can look it up. All right. But we love it. I love this version of an emperor because it's not, like sometimes the emperor comes across as being very hard to get along with. And this guy would be tough for sure, but I think you could talk to him too. He looks like the kind of guy where you wouldn't want to show up on the day of his daughter's wedding and ask him to do murder for money. No, definitely not. you got to do that a but, different But, I mean, just follow the rules and you should be fine. Very emperor. That's a very emperor vibe. You <laughs> nailed it. Nice. Okay. The Pope, super traditional. I have to say, if I could have had, you know, like a nice tube pasta and have the shell at my baptism, that probably would have been a beautiful thing. Got to love the outfit here mm -hmm. on the partners. And, yeah, I didn't make my daughter go through that. Yeah. But I'll ima in my mind's eye, I'll imagine that this was your experience, if that helps. Okay, thanks. Again, we are both really thrilled to see, um, Delaney mentioned before, you know, the family that you create. and Yeah. It's just really good. This woman's kind of giving off Guy Fieri, like diver diners, drive-ins, and dives with the shirt. But, oh, yeah, 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 I see it. But, I mean, much classier, of course. Of course. And, of course, they are but doing the Lady and the Tramp. Women and femmes love dressing up like Guy Fieri for Halloween. It's always a thing. So. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I told you Delaney was going to bring something to the table here. <laughs> Endless stuff. She's giving me, like, light Lady Gaga vibes, but her nose isn't quite distinctive enough. Right. But well, Lady Gaga's Italian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. There really had to be a Vespa in here or an Apria. We don't know what this is, but yeah, for sure. And also, when we did the Yule readings for each other another yeah, a couple of days ago, well, for Yule, um, we both pulled the chariot, and Delaney, the chariot is the card for 2023. So that's like a universal card for everybody. Oh, I was going to say, according to who? Oh, it's like a, a Mary Greer um tarot for yourself okay so it's legit it's legit like there are if you talk to tarot people they're like yeah the chariot's the card for the year nice. so you know if if you happen to believe in that stuff if you think that numerological business is happening we're going to have some movement this year thank god okay so yeah and of course rome pigeons and radiator yay, yay. lasagna lasagna on and i believe that the glasses are the I hope I'm saying this right. Lemonoskate, Lemonos, the infinity symbol. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, which would be, you know, a classical reference. And lasagna. What better way to have your way? <laughs> Here, have some lasagna. I'll tame that beast. I think the hermit, he reminds me of um, the godfather when the godfather retires and he's like out in the mm. garden and stuff. Mm. On his own. Ah, leave sure. me alone. I like that. <laughs> Stay off the I grass. just noticed the picnic in the background. Well, you know, we're Italians. we got to have food, right? Well, he's not totally out on his own, so. True. He's being vaguely social, which I didn't realize on the first go around. Is there more food for more than one there? Oh, yes, that's a whole family mm -hmm. picnic. Okay, yeah. all right. But he's stepping away. Mm -hmm. Certainly. And speaking of food for the whole family. Actually, you know what? I think... It's a little late to do this, but I'm going to bring it down a little closer. Going down. Three, High two, tech. one. Ladies lingerie and housewares. Okay, here we are. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I got there. So I love the idea of the Wheel of Fortune being probably like a lazy Susan with mm. the different dishes that go around. I just noticed the astrolog. Is that astrological signs on the plates, or uh, is that just? Let's take a look at what they've got. I guess not necessarily. Yeah, elemental astrological elemental things. I like that. Oh, too. again, a reference to classic RWS. I like that they're in including greens in the meal. Yeah, thank goodness. A broccoli rob on the side. <laughs> Thanks, we appreciate that. RBG. So this is the first card that told me. Oh, these are actually some real people in these these cards, but mm. I don't know who they all are. Yeah. 
But I like her with the yellow background on the red. It's a nice color combination. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, you don't have to wonder about what the card means. Mm. Plus, we've got pasta. Right. We've got pasta that. columns. <laughs> and I have to tell you that when I first looked at this, I was not quite getting it. But then Delaney nailed yeah. it because she said... Throwing, throwing pasta at the wall to see if it's done, see if it sticks. Right. Which was a joke um, in my college living situation, our junior and senior year. We ate so much pasta. And obviously, if you make pasta a lot, you know when it's done. But we would always throw some at the wall. <laughs> and it would really upset our one friend that liked to keep a clean apartment. But we always did it. <laughs> and then there was one that stuck so in such a satisfying way that we left it out the rest of the year. I did not know this story. You probably saw it. Probably just didn't like register that there was like months old pasta on the wall. <laughs> I meanwhile well, have never tried it, but it's I guess I'm going to have to. Listen, the college boys put Bud Light on the wall, the Bud Light boxes like broken uh -huh. down. They treat that like home decor. So if that's home decor, this is home decor too. Can't argue with that. Mm. We loved the death card. Is it just me? Is like her crying a little bit performative? Her face is so serene. Actually, you know what? I like that you saw that because the death card is not necessarily about death. It's about something ending. And often when things end, you go on to something better. Yeah, I mean, she's kind of like serving in the face, so. Hmm. I mean, I'm not saying she's like happy. But there's not a lot of wrinkling and tension in the face for someone that's like mourning their bestie kins. You're right. I see zero wrinkles. Maybe okay. she just has a lot of Botox, which is fine too. No judgment here. Maybe she here. just can't move her face. <laughs> no judgment here. Right. This is brilliant with the espresso pot um, on temperance. And the fact that she's stepping in something, so we're, we're in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. It's not just water, people. It's probably coffee. I like that she's not afraid to show her roots growing out. Oh, good point. Yep. It's kind of in, but... Kind of in. And the, that classical cherub angel mm -hmm. thing? On the t-shirt. I'm, I'm just... These Lisa Frank stick-ons are really cracking me up. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who knows how long these are going to last, but it's fine. Uh, I just realized my mouth was much closer to the microphone than yours. Okay. All right. We'll see how this all turns out. Okay, let's talk about the devil. <laughs> mm -hmm. So one of my big beefs with devil cards is um, I feel like the devil should actually be tempting to me. So mm -hmm. if it's like this horned goat who's trying to give it to you up the butt, that's not all that tempting to me. Mm -hmm. But this was tempting. This is very Julia Fox, in my opinion. Yeah, wrap me up, tie me down with some black ink spaghetti. Yeah. It looks like, uh, uh, both of these look like takes on Julia Fox Halloween costumes to me, which is very enticing. <laughs> Makes me want to shave my eyebrows off. <laughs> Ancient blonde. The devil made me do it. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the tower with all the different kinds of pasta. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's all we can say. It's just awesome. There's lightning going into it, I just realized. Yep. You betcha. The Leaning Tower crisis. piece of pasta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Alan has got the flag. Very, mm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. And this is somebody that we feel like, that's somebody. Maybe it's somebody's <laughs> sister. We don't know. She's got a very full glass of wine, which I appreciate. And a very full pot of water, honestly, too. Well, it's because the star wishes come true. Huh. Oh, also, if, but this will be a good interjection. So we don't get a whole little white book, but we do get this very cool fold-out thing. Um, and this is my message to the creators. Y'all, put some more stuff up on your website. Because when you go to the website, like I went to the website because I was thinking, maybe there's going to be more information about specific kinds of pasta or something. And it's pretty much what, what is in this. So, I don't know, but, you know, I, I do understand I'm on the second wave of this, and maybe with the first wave there was more information out there. But, okay, so where was I going? I was going to read their keywords for the star. Mm, okay. All right, Major Arcana, star. Let's see now. Okay, so theirs is hope, clarity, and magic. Those are their keywords. Okay. 
So I, I, in general, I haven't studied these closely because like I said, I've only had it a few days, but I, you know, for what I looked at with the keywords, I was happy with them. So there's that. We'll just add this to our little ensemble of things. And she looks very pleasant, whoever she is. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize the garlic and tomato and little eyes. <laughs> They're alive. So as I was saying, we find this to be very cheerful. Yeah. Oh, there's eyes on the cheese, too. Oh. Where? oh, I see now. That's probably basil, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's eyes on the basil. I'm slow. There's eyes on the basil, too. There's eyes on all four of them. Because they have eyes to see. They see deeply into the inner meaning of things mm. on the moon card. Nice. And there's our sun. And I said this has a very midsummer feel to it. Yes, yes. Not in like a spooky way, just no, the good in part. a non horror <laughs> rendering of midsummer, <laughs> that's where that sun would exist. Yeah, good point. No one's getting stuffed inside a bit. Well, I don't need to go into the details. <laughs> it's not happening there, so it's fine. No, no. Here's Chef. Chef is going to render judgment. Mm hmm. I don't have much to add here. I learned yesterday in the movie we were, oh no no we were watching Chef versus Wild. Yeah. Also I watched The Bear, which is also a show about kitchens, and I learned in both of those like whenever you walk behind the chef you have to be like behind. That seems so odd. I was like no one has to say behind in this because everyone's in front. Of me. <laughs> That's not the most <laughs> enlightening contribution. No, but, but it was quite entertaining. <laughs> it was quite entertaining. <laughs> And here's the world. It's nice. Pasta. The world is about pasta. What is this orientation? Is this Africa? Hmm. What we're thinking it. Well, it could I'm be. I'm just wondering who's stuck under the pasta in this one. I'm, I'm guessing the boot is under the pasta. Oh, maybe. Right? Because if that's Africa. I guess. It's upside down. Yeah. Unless it's not one of those upside down worlds, is it? Mm. Like the one Trevor Noah has on the Daily Show now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't we're we're lost. Know. Once again, if somebody knows, go ahead and pop it in the comments. I love Help the gold out. jewelry here. Big yes. gold jewelry. Yes, we do love the gold jewelry. In fact, I was looking for my my charm bracelet. I was going to wear it. I forgot. I could go throw on. The... No, it's too much. <laughs> Guys, imagine I have gold jewelry on. <laughs> oh, no, you should go get the one we got in Rome. Yeah, okay. I'll okay, she's going to step away and get her gold jewelry. If, if it's reasonable, but you keep going. All right, um, I'm going to keep going because she'll be back. So, yeah, let me go back into the, um, which one this is. So, Corta is Matters of Spirit. So, this is our wands um, suit. And so, here's a little look. I'll give you a good close-up of that so you can get an idea of what kind of um, keywords we get for these, which I think, I, I like them. You know, you have to make your own keywords, but so if you don't agree with these, you know, you just write your own in. That's all. And as with a lot of decks, they give you your own, uh, they give you a couple of spreads, suggested spreads. So they have the pasta spread and the mangiamo spread. Let's eat. When it's good for deciding what to eat. So that's pretty clever. Oh, she's got it. She's got her gold jewelry, folks. <coughs> Okay, so maybe I should let you put the cards over. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I went a little harder than I would actually go, but for dramatic effect, it's all here now. There's the two. Oh, his shirt's up in the back. And he's, <coughs> he's schwitzing a little bit. Oh, okay, all right. He's sweating it a little bit, waiting yeah. to see what's going to happen. Yeah, and I like that the shirt is a, it's a world map. That's good. That's some good imagery there. This is a nice one. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks a little bit like a tablecloth. Yeah. And I, like I said yesterday, I like how each spoke of the, or what? The trident? I, the yeah, tri the each trident. poke, each thing yeah. <laughs> on the trident has something on it. The sharpie thing of the trident. I said this one reminds me of my birthday parties because, um, 
I go to like an old school Italian restaurant with my friends every year for my birthday. I used to go to a place on the Lower East Side in Manhattan. I found a new place in Brooklyn I went to this year, but in my mind's eye, this is what my birthday dinners look like. Lots of red sauce. Right, and I don't go to them because I'm, you know, the old mom, but from the pictures that she shares with me, they do look like that. They always look like they're having a lot of fun. And that the vino de tabla is flowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that this five of corta is, has them um, playing a game. Because the five of wands, unlike the other fives in the other suits, it's not so much about, you know, like battle to the death. It's a little more playful. So I like that they do it this way. I think it's fun. And I'm pretty sure that this is Sophia Loren, but... I believe you. Yeah. I love this shape of pasta. We discussed this one yes. a bit. Yes, yes, because this one came up in, in the reading you did yeah. for me. To me, as someone that doesn't know a ton about the inherent meaning of all of these, this seems to be a card about setting boundaries and knowing when it's okay to share and when everyone needs to back off. Yep, and she completely nailed that in the context of the other cards. Some of them have fun nail polish too, which I'm noticing now. As they should. As they should. <laughs> yep, that's about to boil, baby. <laughs> I love Penny. Penny is definitely one of my faves. Yeah, it depends on this. Like with a more hearty sauce, I like um, a pasta that has more folds to hold the sauce. Yes, exactly. But a simple marinara. Or, like, if you really want to just have fun and go straight olive oil and, like, garlic. Yeah. That's good. Okay. We love this one with the kid throwing the pasta at mom. It's at the end of her rope, everyone. Watch it, child. So this one is supposed to be tied to the origin story for this deck, according to the description that's in here. The two creators saw a hunky Italian on the beach, proclaimed gnocchi, and the rest was history. So this seems to be that moment. Yeah. Gnocchi? Taraki. I love this character. I love this outfit. I love the pants looking like the zucchini, looking like the squash. That's so awesome. I like the water highlighted in yellow. It's like mm -hmm. the sun is shining through the water. We're big fans of the art. Clearly. And I think that the knight of Corta being somebody, your pizza delivery guy, and it doesn't hurt that he's handsome. It doesn't hurt anything. No, no. That's good. There's pasta on the pizza. Penne pie. Used to be my favorite snack after school in high school. <laughs> Although I think the the uh, pasta pizza that I would eat after school was a, like more of a vodka cream sauce. It oh, was, was it? really rich. I don't remember. That was something she did with her buddies. Yeah, I think it was penne, though. Penne makes sense. Mm -hmm. And we believe that this is one of our creators. It's a Mia Mia Ma. It's, it's a Mia Mario. It's a Mia Mario. We believe that this I really is... like that drag name a lot. I like the mushrooms up here. It has like some Mario Kart slash Super Mario Brothers imagery with the rainbows and the Right, the color of the outfit. The, the yeah. um, uh, what do you call them? The overalls. Mm -hmm, overall dress. There's an Italian name for that. Oh, and here's these little in. like tubes that you like have to hop over if you're in the Mario game. Oh, okay. So this kind of looks like a Mario Kart or a, Mar a Super Mario course back here. Yes. We're, 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 we're fans. We are fans. There he is. Look at that. Nice legs. Pasta on the floor. What does the book say? Young eyes. Royal rigatoni. <laughs> <laughs> My mom calls me young eyes. Yeah, because she is. All right. We're into our next suit. So um, the stuffed pastas, this is your cups suit which you'll probably recognize, if you're a fair tarot fan, then you'll recognize the overflowing cup with the water coming out. And so here it's the draining uh, ravioli. So I could talk about ravioli for a very long time, but mm -hmm. I don't think the people... Save that for your memoir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, shall I talk about... I shut you down. Do you want to talk about ravioli more? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I'll, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. We could talk about tortellini more. So... With this one, I love this one. 
because you know some people think of the lover's card let's see if i can pull it out we'll, we'll look at these side by side if we can so my as i as i'm my reading of this is sort of maturing and becoming more knowledgeable of history so now i think of the lover's card not so much as lovers as um, decision making um and the, i think of this one the two of cups as being more about the lover card but these are nice, right? Yeah. Both of them are really nice, really nice, sweet. And of course, we've got some nice matching gold jewelry there. Ooh, not Ooh. on the ring finger, but certainly in sync with right. each other. Okay. Spoilers. Not yet. This was us last night. La, 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 la. Yeah, there was only two of us, but you know what? We could, if we call Nana We FaceTimed again, Nana. Yes, we did FaceTime Nana. So there were the three of us, the three generation... Yes, we all love lasagna very, very, very much. I would like to know this person. Moody. Yeah, I'll have at least a dinner with them and then assess. Oh, okay, fair enough. Is this not heartbreak? The stuffed shell on the oven, open oven door? And you know what? Raise your hand if this has happened to you. Maybe that was an excuse to show off the nails. No, I said that really happened to me. I'm going to get yeah. more wine. Carry okay. on. She's going to get more wine. Again, I don't have the requisite knowledge. So this could really go off the rails in the meantime. You got it. But I know that my mom really likes this card because it's about nostalgia. Yeah. So this made her feel warm and fuzzy. Yeah, even though I didn't know my Nana... What a great illustration for Capoletti. Yeah. It makes me hungry. <laughs> I like snakes. There we go. I have, I've had some dreams in which I had a really cool snake tattoo kind of coiling around my lower arm, but mm. maybe I'll just let that be true in my dreams. You never know what's going to happen next. You real that's so true, Vesti. You really never know. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Okay, we agree on this one. We want it to be a poster, yeah. and we both want to have it in our homes. In our, I would love to have this in my kitchen. I was thinking my bedroom. I think this is a dreaming Chic. card. Chic, I like that. Like This is like, yes, dreaming of my next adventure. Empty glass of wine, though, so she needs to re-up on that as well. Love's life. <laughs> is this a great nine of cups or what? This is what our faces looked like when we dug into that gluten-free lasagna last night and it tasted good. Because you never know. Right. It was the first time we had made oh that recipe God. or tried that pasta. And when it came out good, we were like, yay. Right. <laughs> our voices went up two octaves. And, okay, so now I'm going to tell a story about this. Tell a story. So um, I worked for a while doing... Um, administrative support in a big law firm, big, big, big law firm in downtown New York City. And of course, as you might guess, the bridge and tunnel crowd that did the administrative support was you know, a lot of, there were a lot of Italian American ladies, mm -hmm. various generations and French manicures to go around. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gum chewers. Think, think, think 80s. Think, yeah, yeah. Big hair. Big hair. The whole thing at least in the from the front it looked very big mm -hmm. anyway <laughs> but that's another story okay. so every time we had one of those covered dish things in the office which it was the secretaries of course we were the ones making the food and bringing it in really and, oh yeah the covered dishes I, I mean now, now the punitive dining that we build on the clients yeah that was the lawyers taking care of that still though that's some holistic support I work, I, I work on staffing admins in my job, and usually there's a, more of a delineation nowadays. Oh, okay. Just an observation. All right. Still, it's still a job, but it wouldn't be the same person that was, like, sitting at a desk and typing up stuff. Oh, all right. So we, we would, you know, frequently organize these cooperative covered dish things mm -hmm. for holidays, birthdays, anything we could think of. And one of my favorite things was when somebody would say, at some point... I'll bring in the Panamana gat. <laughs> there he is. He's happy because somebody brought in the Panamana gat. He's got the Panamana gat. 
he gelled his hair back for the occasion. Well, yeah. Also, continuing on the line of my, like, in another life, this is how I present, I, I think I could look really good in a female mullet. I'm going to have to think She's about looking that. at me to take it in. She has a very oval face, so that's why I have to think about that. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. No, she's just talking funny. about fishing. Like, guys, for the viewers at home, her but, face is an oval. But look, his is an oval. Yeah. Right. So it's not a bad thing. My friend pulls off a mullet really well. Anyway. So, um, so for Delaney's benefit, this card frequently has a rainbow with a happy family. Mm. This is Marsha P. Johnson, 110%. Right, so take it. Delaney is the one who knows who some of these people are. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that this is Sylvia Rivera, but I know that they often go together in depictions of um, this movement in New York City, and that's certainly Marsha P. Johnson because she's always depicted with a flower crown, or often depicted with a flower crown. And you thought that this might be... I mean, not actually. I Maybe. doubt it. But Maybe. to me, this reminds me of Trixie Mattel, who's a more modern drag queen. But I, there's no reason for that to be true other than the fact that I like Trixie and, and it vaguely looks like her. Trixie does her hair and makeup for the back row. So that's what's reminding me of <laughs> her there. Okay. It could be her, though. Big boobs are a part of her act as well. And this, I think, is... I mean, I could be wrong, again, but I think this is Sophie. Um, the hyper pop pc music dj slash producer and you can look up some of her album artwork because she's depicted very similarly there anyway it makes sense to me yeah trans and icon as well makes sense to me as the as the page of cups it makes it that she has a lot of water imagery in um her songs as well so makes perfect so sense. that and this reminds me of romeo plus juliet with leonardo dicaprio um this looks like the young Juliet at the costume party. To me. To me. Now, she did show me. We looked. We Googled it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it to me, too. Yeah. They're paying homage, if, even if it's not supposed to be literally her. And if we think of that as the Knight of Cups, which is somebody who charges into love without really, you know, being super rational about it, mm -hmm. it makes sense that it would be that character. So, there you go. So, there you go. Okay, I, can I just say that I would like to have a bra made out of pasta? Yeah, I'd love to live in a world where two pieces of pasta would keep my boobs really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I have to I'm wear closer a bra. to that reality than you. Very true. But if I had to live in a world where I, would, where I could... Wait, that's not coming out right. If I had to wear a bra, yeah. I would like it to be in a world where the bra could be made of pasta. Yeah, and you do have to wear a bra, so... <sighs> All right, let's see who the king is. Yay, party time. Mm -hmm. A lot of joy here. I like that the pasta is like the um, paper bag on the alcohol, sort of. Oh, I didn't think about it that way. That's it fun. reminds me of like bodega booze, sort of. But It's fun. I like it. It's good. It's good. Okay, so we're getting now to our swords suit, the long pasta. I feel like this card has a lot more like shading and variation in color compared to other things. Like I said, I feel like a lot of things are like just one color monochromatic mm -hmm. and this almost has some shading in it. So it kind of stands out for that reason. This one's interesting because if I take off my glasses and I kind of scoot <laughs> back a little bit, I'm really taken with the graphics of this. Mm. I'm squinting and leaning back as well. I see what you're saying. Yeah. We've had enough wine now. These things can happen. <laughs> Get on our level. All right, I want to see what their keywords are for this because I always think of it as the heartbreak card. So let's see what they call it. Those, it's like a knife through the heart. It's pasta through the tomato. Yes, yes. Okay, they call it heartbreak, stubbornness, and betrayal. So we're on the same page there. Okay. Is this like a Bloody Mary or like a Bloody Mary martini? That's an interesting thought. I'd try it once. I would too. Yeah, like a Why basil. Not? Why not? Actually, when I was at my company holiday party, when there was the bar crawl the day after, they like rented out a few bars in the downtown where my office is. One of the bars had an olive, no, an extra virgin olive oil martini, where instead of being a straight up olive with brine, it was like an olive, but like more on the neat side in terms of saltiness, and it had extra virgin olive oil and basil in it. How was it? 
It was like a little weird, but it was I like I wouldn't have more than one. Right. But that with like a bowl of pasta would be awesome. Okay, so for our viewers at home, um, this holiday pot party was in Boston. Yeah, which makes it like a little bit weirder. No, no there's a good Italian American community in that's Boston. That's true. I was like associating it more with Irish because of the part of town we were in, but oh, that's right. true. Okay. Love the colors. Mm. And when we were looking at this yesterday, mom was saying that this looked like a restaurant. Yeah, to I was me, like, this I looks want to eat in that restaurant. like a boyfriend in the kitchen who's like being nice to his girlfriend. That's what it looks like to me. So we can see we're at different places in life because she's got a nice boyfriend who makes her good food. <laughs> <laughs> I make you nice food. You do. You really do. You're an excellent cook. Thanks. I love the babushkas. They're not babushkas. <laughs> <laughs> not babushkas. <laughs> they're not not babushkas. I get that they're not, but they're not not. Okay, all right. Transpose this in into like Kiev. It's not like whoa. What are they doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you know that my child is the product of the classic Italian American <laughs> Jewish pairing. <laughs> Classic. Uh, listen, I've handled a Russian doll in my life. You can't tell me there's no similarity. <laughs> All right. That's just how I feel. Scary. Yeah, we're both scared by this card. I'm yeah. sorry. It, it terrifies Scary. us. Scary. I mean, you know, it's, it is. He's a, a, look, he's a protector and he was hungry. I think if you're on this dog's good side, it could be a really nice asset. If you're like a woman living alone in a sketchy part of the village, like that could be good. <laughs> yeah. And it is a seven card, so it makes sense. Yeah. We just don't really want to be on the wrong side. More tie me up, tie me down with the long pasta. It's kinky and it's lightly Julia Foxy again. Or Lady Gaga. Both of which are Italian women. Good point. Okay, so hang on. Let's see what the keywords are. Okay, so here we go. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm finding. Uh, limitation, captivity, and oppression. Well, Okay looks kind of pleasurable in this depiction. Is it, maybe it's like making peace with it. We could read it that way. I don't know. Maybe she's not happy, but the way that it's depicted doesn't seem like she's like being tortured. That's a bit much Yeah. for an image in a tarot card. More squid ink pasta. Right. Now this one, I think are keywords. I'll read the keywords. Okay. It's anxi anxiety, despair, and darkness. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Nothing to add. Every time I look at this, it happened again. I feel like I know who this is. Yesterday, I made the joke it was every man I dated in college, but... Yes, she did say that. That's true. <laughs> I don't, oh, God. I don't know. Really familiar looking to me. Not having a great day. No. So, this is the 10, and that is kind of... the ten. So, this is the 10 of swords, and this is a not a great day. Definitely, kind of a thing. Kind of a bad day. Right. So it could be like, in some images, it's like 10 swords sticking in your back. Oh, okay. But on the other hand, it's the end, right? Mm -hmm. It's the, it's, we're done now. It yeah. really sucks, but we're done. I like how in this world, the worst thing that happens to a person is the pasta dropping before you get to eat it. That's <laughs> happened in a few cards now. He drank all his wine, but he didn't have his water. There you go. Wawa. We will. Cute. So cute. Again, looks familiar, but I can't place it. I like the use of a horse here as being a merry-go-round horse. <laughs> I like the saddle. Nice. There's a, actually, there's a lot of colors in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not as many as there are in the new. Okay, this queen is another one where it's like, I feel like this is somebody. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Nothing to add. No, just we don't know. And this feels very um, Rat Packy to me. Yeah. Like little Frank Sinatra, little Dino Martino. I don't know who this guy is supposed to be, but maybe he is nobody in particular. Mm. Back to the star pasta. Yay! Okay, here's the little, little pastas, and this is the pentacles suit. So, take it. 
go on. Here's the infinity symbol again. Right, and this is the farfalupa. How much wine did I have? Not that much. But a nice image for, you know, balancing things out. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is a very different depiction of water than in that other one where we were talking about how he like squinted and it looked very dynamic. This is more of like oh, a yeah. uh -huh. depiction of water. Back to the yellow, which I love. And also, let's enjoy the fact that there's a lot of yellow on the box. Mm. The box is exactly like the tarot and the divine box too, by the way, for, you know, for box and paper people. I love this image of the three people working together because, again, we've got the three generations, which we have in our fam. And it's, you know, close to my heart. Very important to me. Yep. How cute is she with the cookies? <laughs> She's so cute. She's got her pasta, but First she'd rather dessert have... imagery. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? Unless I missed something, but I think so. Sweets. Huh. And as my mom knows... Not a huge Italian dessert fan in the cookie department, but I like other Italian desserts. All right. Well, ice creams, gelatos, tiramisu, that kind of thing. True. And you don't even like cannoli like I like cannoli. I like cannoli filling. Yeah. I just like I'm not a big fan of what what uh like the cookie texture. I think it's because I like doughy cookies, like chewy doughy. That's true. Which you also like, but yeah. Oh, but there's one kind of cookie that I can't remember the name of, but it's made with almond flour, so it's gluten-free, and it's doughy, and it's like it has like a crackled top, and it's covered in powdered sugar. Oh, I know the one you're talking about. And I about. really like that kind of cookie. Those are good. It's they, almost like a macaroon texture. Yeah, exactly. They sell it at the farmer's market by my apartment. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. We like this one because there's so much to look at. Yeah, been there. Rolling a J with the soup. We don't even see the... Oh, there's the bottle of wine. It's finished. Remember yesterday I only saw the cork? The uh, bottle of wine yes. is on its side. Uh, okay, I want to see what they say for the keywords for this one. Yeah. Um, wallowing, self-pity, and misfortune. Nice. And we like this one a lot, too. I would love some alphabet soup. Mm, it's fun. Not happening today, though. Sorry. My boyfriend and I have done this thing where like we get home drunk from a party and then we like close our eyes and we manifest like the exact kind of meal that we would want if we could have anything. And then we open up the delivery app and see if it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually not. <laughs> so it's been more upsetting than satisfying, but it's like a fun creative exercise. And one time I, I did close my eyes and I wanted... See, um, it's like a it's a high bar, but I wanted um, grilled cheese sandwich on gluten free bread with tomato apple alphabet soup. Ooh, that's very and a specific. cream soda. Oh wow, very New York, very specific. Yeah, not possible. Um, you know what? Because it's interesting that you brought your boyfriend into this because the keywords that they're giving for the six is um, let me find it again because it's good for him. Altruism. Redistribution. You like it? Yeah. My boyfriend's really nice, guys. He's very That's nice. That's what she's implying, and it's yes. true. He wants He's an right. acts of service person. He's, his, like, dream way to show someone he cares isn't with a gift. It's, like, fixing their toilet and, like, hanging a picture on the wall for them. He's a really sweet guy. I approve. <laughs> Look at this guy. So much tomato sauce. <laughs> He's like, I go a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look, he's got the dish towel, right? I love orzo. I had a gluten-free orzo that was pretty good recently. Guys, for anyone listening at home that has gotten this far and is gluten-free, I like the, the protein-y versions of pasta with, like, lentils and chickpeas and stuff. But if you want a true, like, just taste as close as possible to regular pasta and is gluten-free, there's a brand called Jovial Foods, and they have... A uh, full line of pasta is made with cassava flour, and you, like, cannot tell the difference. It's exactly the same. Are you bringing in a demo? I don't have a demo of that, but you guys like this one. And too. we also like, yeah, for vegetable substitutes, Trader Joe's has the heart of palm pasta. If you do it with straight-up olive oil, it's not going to feel like pasta, but if you do it with a heavy sauce, like a cream sauce or a tomato sauce, it's exactly the same, and you get a serving of vegetables. And Trader Joe's has, um, what's up? Go ahead. Trader Joe's has, uh, like, a Japanese cabbage one that's surprisingly good as well. 
I would not have even thought of trying that. It's called like kohlbari or kohlrabi. How about this with mussels? Yeah, definitely. It just needs like a real sauce. Mm -hmm. Then Something the texture like... works, but like it will taste like a vegetable if you do too light of a sauce. Gotcha. We like this one too for reasons that don't need full discussion. Yeah, let's not talk about it at all. It's a party. You know, nobody thinks about the fact, you know, it's like we think of Mardi Gras. This looks like Mardi Gras to me with the purple and green. Right, and nobody really thinks about the fact that that's a thing in Italy, too. Yeah. Anti-Italian discrimination. Hmm. 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 I like this, too. Party vibes. Yeah. Nice spread. Yes, yes. First time seeing fruit. But tomatoes are fruit. Okay, let me just eat my hat. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we just did oh now i want pasta nails that'd be really fun yeah goals we'll look into it we'll do a google search after this i don't think it's going to be available as a stick on i think we're going to have to find an artist i will put it we'll put it it's just going on youtube yeah we'll put it in the show notes if it exists i think i can find something okay I appreciate that you went uh, para-athlete on this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. With a medal. This is an accomplished athlete. Right. Yeah. And and fine that you did it in the pentacle suit. We're we're good. I'm good with it. Yeah. One day, um, this is another boyfriend-related story, but we go to West Virginia sometimes, and mm -hmm. we went there a lot in 2020, and we decided that we there's this um, kind of obelisky looking thing that you can see on the top of the mountain by the place that we stay at. Mm -hmm. And so one day we decided we wanted to go to the top and see what was up there. And we drove up and it wasn't like dead of winter, but it was like snowy roads and it was a little bit sketchy going up and we were happy to get to the top safe. And then on the way down, we were like being really careful to not get too fast. One of these rolls by us at like 30, 40 miles Past an you. hour. Yeah. Like grandpa aged guy. We're like, Oh my God rolling down this mountain in West Virginia in like 30, 35 degree weather. Yikes. Dedicated. If he has a wife, she doesn't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Now, a lot of people have a card in the deck that is their like make or break card. Like if this card is good in the deck, I'm okay with the deck. If this card sucks in the deck, I don't care how great the rest of the deck is. I'm not getting it. Interesting. Queen of Queen of Pentacles mm -hmm. is my card. And I identify strongly with this card. Mm -hmm. And it's good. This passes the test aggressively, I would say. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, it aggressively passes the test. I like that she's barefoot. She's chilling and she's in touch with the earth. Yep, this is me. And I actually got one of these chairs as a 16th birthday present. No way. Yeah. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah, in pictures. Right? Yeah, it should yeah. be in some pictures. Yeah, some old family I've pictures. seen it. Gorgeous. I like how the flower, their flowers aren't actually woven into the chair, but you can kind of see them. Kind right of through, because it's a weave chair, so that makes sense. This was probably, because it's Italian, this is probably not uh, uh, plant material. This is probably wrought iron or something. Mm, look at you. Probably. Do this you guy, really love this suit? This reminds me of Dan Levy, but I know, or I know it's not. Why not? Levy. Levy, Levy. We know who you're talking about. Eugene, Le Eugene Levy slash Levy's son. Right. I don't know. I don't think he's Italian. I think he's just yeah, Jewish. Yeah, he's Jewish. But you don't You don't have to be Italian to love pasta. That's true. I wasn't I mean, sure if that was a thing Is there anybody who doesn't like pasta? You should... Okay. There, so it's funny that you say that. One of Hayden's friends, my boyfriend's friends, he is Burmese. Uh-huh. I think it's just because, like, certain kinds of food from that part of the world are so heavily spiced. Mm -hmm. Not only does he not like Italian food, but it makes his stomach hurt. Get the heck out of here. I think it's just, like not, it's just, like, not a big part of his diet. It's, like, much more rice-based or, like, a really spiced rice noodle or egg noodle or something. But he's wow. like, I feel like I'm on a different planet. I, like, can't, I don't get Italian food at all. But hmm. it's just him. All right, so that's it. We made it through the deck now, but I thought we would close out with something kind of fun. Since we did our Yule reading, and we both got the chariot, could you find the chariot? I'm going to let you find the chariot in here. I'll give you the majors. Here's the majors. So you somewhere in here. Yeah. So 
So you find the chariot. So that is according, uh, I think I said the book, right, Mary Greer's Tarot for Yourself. She's got this whole thing where she, you figure out what your card, what your card is for the year and what the universal card is for the year. So this is the universal card for the year. My card for the year is the tower. Okay. And then I, so if you, we got that out and then I thought we'd figure out yours. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is, this Jerry. is the universal card. Right here. I'll put my tower over here for me. Well, we're on it. I'm on it. Right. And then we'll figure yours out. Okay. Do I go off of visual or do I go off no, of, it's is a, going too far? That's fine. Yeah, we're good. This is a, a numerology thing. Uh, so you take your month. Okay. 11. Right. And then you add the day. 22. Um, yep. And so, hang on a second. And then you're going to add seven because this is the year card. Okay. Seven. Oh, because this is a seven. I get it. Okay. Right. So it's 11, 22, and seven. So now we have to. 40. Do okay. And. Do you like how good my math was? Yeah, that was kind of awesome. Liked that. Well, let me just. Okay. Yeah, that's right. No, go ahead. Say what no, you No, no. Like. I was just double, double checking check. the math. I would just feel silly if. Yeah, 40. no, you're right. It's 40. Okay. So if it's a number that's. Outside of the major arcana, mm -hmm. you know, um, then you have to reduce it to a a single digit. Okay. So yours is 40 outside of the major. So we're going to reduce it to the single digit. So that's four. four. So you find the card that's four, and that is your card of the year. This is four. Mm -hmm. Put them right there. Now... Since I know what Delaney's up to in 2023, this doesn't really make any sense to me, but that's okay. Because there's a couple different ways you could read it. So I'm going to let you read the keywords. Self-care, meditation, study. This makes sense to me. Does it? Yeah. I'm going to have time for myself to actually look within and be introspective. Okay. Yeah. It's not actually about like whether my day-to-day -day is quiet or hectic. It's about like where I'm able to put my attention. And I think the way I'm going to be able to spend my energy and attention is going to be a lot more introspective this year compared to last year. It was like very ex external, focused on other people, other deadlines, whatever. Yeah, I would, I think Hayden and I would both love for this to be a year of like us and exploring what's really going to make us happy. So it makes perfect sense to me. All right, cool. And I like mine because there's a lot of stuff in my life that's, it's not bad it's just not working as well as i would like it to work so i'm okay with a shake up nice and a rebuild let, let some of those pasta shapes just shake themselves out all right so okay. that's it thanks for stopping by for our ramble <laughs> bye bye